raining. So I uh, was Dee Dee Hollow here in Gillies. And I got caught in the pouring rain. Anyway, you can hear it. So, everything is looking great. There's my black print. These are the mortgage lifters. I've cut the top. And they've got some nice forming tomatoes. So they're going to get nice and big. Uh, this would be a mortgage lifter as well, and it accidentally got snapped off. I haven't been pruning this one as well as I should have. And uh, these are my paste. These are a Polish paste. And there's also some San Marzano. So there's one sucker there. That's, uh, yeah. My English cucumber. Oh, this guy is uh, falling down here. Send them over that way. Yeah, lots and lots of blooms. But, yeah. These are all English cucumbers here. Now, where's my baby watermelon? Is it growing? Hopefully. Should probably cut the vines pretty soon so it matures. But yeah, they're all growing in the back. And, uh, yeah, this is a love life bleeding. And I don't, this one must be a tomatilla blooming. And here's love life bleeding that's starting to bloom. They're just massive. I mean, just look. Up to my chest. So, these are my pickling cucumbers. And I did see some there and down there. And there's another female. She's probably hand pollinate that right now. So we'll get a male. It's hard to do this so you can see. And we'll peel the leaves back away from the center. And now, just touch that and it should be good. But yeah, well, there's another one over there. Yeah, I should get some uh, nice pickling cucumbers to make dills with. And the dill <laughs> is buried. <laughs> here uh -huh. and these are my looks like those are poblanos what this guy's doing back there these are volunteer tomatoes <laughs> that I tilled and they started to grow and the jalapeno I do have a bell. Where is it? There's a bell pepper in here hiding somewhere. I've already harvested a couple green bells. Yeah, I've seen it. I don't know where it is, but there's a bloom there. That'll be a bell. And then I just harvested all my uh, banana peppers or hot wax. There's one there. So there's not much left that were just kind of too small to do, but they're just loaded with blooms, so they should keep producing. And these are from MI Gardener. These are a half heat uh, jalapeno. I think they're called a Tom, and they're just 
Look at them, loaded. Like, that's crazy, and this one too. So that should be good. And now, as you can hear, the rain has stopped and I can go back in the house. Thanks for watching. CD Hollow. But uh, hang on, let's go outside. This is why I brought my phone, everybody. Poppies. They haven't started. These ones are full of blooms, so they're going to pop. And there's the red and whites. And then my favorite. Oh, it's got a lot of water on it. But this is actually not a good showing specimen, but there's another one coming out there. Uh, those are the lollipop guilds. But you see, they only last a couple days. Yeah, and then the leaves fall. So what else do we got? Everything is just blooms. Oh, wow, this one opened up. There's a double red. It's pretty big. That's my hand. And then that's another red and white. And then the Californias. So I don't think they've stopped blooming. That's what the seed heads look like. And that's why there's so uh, very few that are available for you to buy. Because they grow these little cone-shaped seed heads. And they only have about 10 to 20 seeds in them. But check out the sunflowers. Holy smokes. That's got to be eight feet tall right there, at least. And they're all different colors. So I'll probably have some of those seeds available for y'all. They are, there's a yellow one, this one. But there's oranges and browns and purples. And then a mixture of like the sunset color. So uh, stay tuned. CD Hollow.